lovely Leos, welcome to your June tarot reading. I am Sonia Parker, this is a Spiritual Centre. I am using the Nature's Whispers Oracle Deck for the General Energy card and also the Borderless Rider Weight for the tarot reading. Please can I ask you if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the channel. In the reading we'll look at the energies that might be around you and also what experiences you might have for the month of June. So what's in store for you Leos in June? And the first thing I get is be careful who you say yes to. Okay, so the card that you have is expansion. You've got two people holding hands here. And you've got hot air balloons and lovely colours. It's almost like there's a rainbow of colours in there as well. So this month, everything is expanding for you. I see abundance in all areas. Now, whether that be with your self-worth, with your income, with your home life, with relationships, things are moving. Things are expanding. And things are coming together nicely. All the things you wanted to see happen will start to fall into place. It's almost as though the pieces of the jigsaw are fitting together lovely for you. So there is, though, someone who is trying to rub you up the wrong way. So who is it that is winding you up? Are they just pulling your leg or do they really have an issue that is actually worth listening to? If someone is trying to borrow money or wanting a loan as well, this is the ideal time to let them down gently. So be careful who you say yes to. Look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. So I do feel that you need to watch someone. Um, they may just be winding you up, but just be mindful of it. Because someone who you recently fell out with or had a disagreement with wants to make amends. But how you play that out is totally down to you. And again, I'm getting be careful who you say yes to. If you're mindful, then all will be good. Okay, so let's have a look at the tarot. What it is that you need to think about this month? What do Leos need to think about? And we have the Eight of Wands. Obstacles that might be in your way. We have two cards. The Four, which was reversed, I don't do reverse meanings. And the Page of Swords. And the last card is your final outcome for the month of May. Final outcome for Leo's. And we have the four of... <laughs> it's funny how cards keep coming out this month. The star and the magician have just been the two cards that seem to be coming out on all the readings. Okay, so everything's become a burden. That's what I'm feeling. Everything's become overwhelming. He can't see his way forward. So I feel that this is where... Mm. Now, I see abundance in all areas, but it's almost as though you won't be able to see your way forward if you're not careful. And I feel that this could be to do with this person that's trying to rub you up the wrong way. It's almost as though this is where you should be, but this is actually where you are at this precise moment. And you want to obtain to being like that. So what's going to stop you behaving like the fool and taking that leap of faith? Well, your own mind. It could well be your own mind that's going to stop you doing what you want to do. Or it could well be that there's an air sign that's going to be um, the person that's stopping you. I feel that you need to cut away from this. There's a lot of male energy here. There's all male energy and male energy here. So it's all masculine. Hmm. I feel there's an imbalance in the energy. I want another clarifier for the middle, for the obstacles. Um, for the fool and the page. Because are you being gifted with the new idea? King of Pentacles. 
there you go that's where your abundance is going to kick in so it could well be that this new idea is coming in for you this new way of thinking this new thought process um even if this thought process is about someone else that remember that everything's going to be uh revealed to you but you do need to be careful who you say yes to i really do feel that someone who you fell out with or had a disagreement with who is this person this is you becoming victorious over this situation as well um the final outcome i would say is more of a warning you don't need to be so defensive and especially with the title of this month's reading be careful who you say yes to don't be defensive just stand your own ground be like the magician you are number one so put yourself in that number one position you have all the tools on the table you know expansion is coming i feel like this expansion is abundance in every area but you could stop it if you're folding your arms and being defensive and looking down the gift of love is coming from the spirit world he can't see that he's got love all down here he can't see that you can block the own opportunities that are coming your way just by looking down and not look, opening up to them. So this is about opening your energy to the things that are coming for you this month as well. Okay, so let's look at the uh, free reading that I'm giving away. All you need to do is type yes, please, with your date of birth in the comments on this video. I will draw read for those that I feel drawn to. Um, and what I'll be doing is a 2021 experience card, which is based on your date of birth. So it is unique to you. Um, I also do give a free personal reading away on my website. Just subscribe to the newsletter, spiritualcenter.net. And I give away a free personal reading each month. So just type yes, please, in the comments with your full date of birth. And I will read for those that I feel drawn to. As always, please can I ask you to subscribe to the channel, to like, comment and share. Bless you for watching. Have a lovely June.